We got. I got the invitation to go on this armed Lutheran radio show, though. You know this guy? Have you seen this? I got. There's two things that I would like to say that make me feel safe. Number one, the fact that there is a radio show called the Armed Lutheran Podcast somewhere in the world that makes me feel safe. Pistols, prayer, and potluck. This is Armed Lutheran Radio. Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Armed Lutheran Radio, a show about guns, hunting, competitive shooting, the natural right of self-defense, and what God's Word says about the issues surrounding gun rights and gun ownership. I'm your host, Lloyd Bailey, the Armed Lutheran. This is episode number 390. It is also our first episode of 2024, and it is the annual State of the Show show, where we look ahead to the new year and we talk about our plans. I want to start out first by thanking all of the members of the Reformation Gun Club for making this show possible again in 2024. A big, big thank you to all of you for your support over the years. Um, f- for those of you who are new to the show and have not heard me say this before, Armed Lutheran Radio is listener-funded. What that means is that we don't have any ads, we don't have any sponsors. That is uh, continuing in 2024. We rely on our members, the supporters of the show, the members that we call the Reformation Gun Club. Those members um, get some cool Armed Lutheran swag. They get access to all of our exclusive content. They get invitations to our monthly online hangouts. And, of course, the satisfaction of knowing that you've helped make our ninth year possible. If you would like to uh, take part in that, if you would like to find out more about the Reformation Gun Club and all the benefits, check out ReformationGunClub.com. You'll find a link uh, in the show notes for this or any of our previous episodes. And that's right. This is our ninth year. It's really hard to believe that we have come this far. We started Armed Lutheran Radio in uh, it was January of 2016, and there are over 400 episodes available for you to listen in our current back catalog. Um, now, I know this is episode number 390, but uh, there were like, I want to say there was, I want to say there were like a dozen or so what I used to call midweek meditations out there. Uh, Those were in the first three years of the show, I think. So it adds up to something like 403 or 405 episodes, something like that. And for Gun Club members, like I just mentioned, there is a lot more. Um, There's extended content where we, um, we have extended versions of episodes, things that we didn't originally release to the public. Um, exclusive content, things that we've created specifically for gun club members. Um, not sure what the total is when you add all of that up, but like I say, every week it's hundreds of hours of exclusive content. And um, so check all of that stuff out. Over the years, we've published a couple of, of uh, important books, Duty to Defend being the chief among them the second edition of which is still available, still available on Amazon.com. You can find a a link for that in the show notes as well with articles written by 20, I think it's 20 Lutheran pastors from all over the country who take, um, well, they take individual pieces of, uh, of Holy Scripture, and these are pieces of scripture that are commonly misused in the gun rights debate. And what these uh, wonderful pastors have done is they have explained why the use of those um, verses is incorrect. They put those verses into the proper context and try to help you understand why it is uh, they're incorrect, how those uses are incorrect, and what the actual meaning of those verses is in context with other um, with the preceding and following verses and other um, other verses throughout scripture so it's an excellent work I'm really uh, really proud of it and uh, I hope you will check it out at armedlutheran.us slash duty d-u-t-y or you can go to armedlutheran.us slash books 
or you can look for it. Look for Duty to Defend uh, and my name at Amazon.com. I've also branched out into some other creative areas. A couple of works of fiction uh, are already published. I've got a third one in the works. There's uh, music, a bunch of it, with more in the works. Like I said, I'm really amazed by everything that we've done over the last nine years, and I'm really grateful uh, to all of you who listen and consume all of that content and ha- who are supportive of the work. Really do appreciate all of that support. So let's see where we are as we start our ninth year here at Armed Lutheran Radio for 2024. Well, uh, 2023 ended in a bang, with a bang, let's just say. My plan for 2023, and I believe it was the plan for 2022 as well, was to have a different kind of episode each week. And you might have noticed this throughout the, throughout the show if you go back to the last two years. You get a variety show one week with um, content from all of our cast members, Mia Anstein, Sergeant Bill Sylvia, Pastor John Bennett, and myself. You maybe get a Clinging to God and Guns show with me and the pastor. You get an online hangout. And then that fourth episode was going to be kind of potluck, if you will. Uh, maybe a members-only show, maybe some commentary, maybe a guest appearance. That that was the, the plan going in. But life, as it always does, derailed those plans, uh, particularly in the fall and winter of last year, when work just wreaked absolute havoc with my schedule and caused me to cancel and reschedule things way, way, way too often. Um, and really, since, since the COVID... Um, COVID changed everything. Um, life has been very different. Um, the focus that the, the time and, and effort and money that I was was spending on shooting is now redirected in a different direction. My uh, oldest daughter, my oldest child, my daughter is is playing uh, club volleyball, and so that takes a lot of money and a lot of time that would have been normally or in previous years would have been spent on shooting. I haven't been to the range in since I think April of 21 or 22. I can't remember now. It's been a while. So, and, and work has become rather challenging as well. Uh, like I said, the end of 2023 was exhausting. Work was a nightmare. I was putting in 60 to 80 hours a week just to get projects on track by the end of the year so that I could take a break at Christmas. And plans just kept for the podcast just kept getting sidetracked as as a result. And so you had more commentary from me and less of the cast. You had variety shows with very little variety or shows were released late. And honestly, if I'm... If I'm being candid here, and I am, um, at the end of the year, I was honestly th- considering calling it a day. Um, I was, I think I was ready to hang up my microphone, but I decided in the midst of all of that exhaustion that that was probably not the best idea to make that kind of a decision at the time. When you're tired and your thoughts are clouded by all of that exhaustion, I didn't I didn't want to make a decision with my, you know, my thoughts clouded by all of that. So, uh, um, I didn't, I didn't want to do anything on my. I had vacation at the end of the year, uh, Christmas and and New Year's. I didn't want to do anything though. I was just absolutely worn out. Uh, didn't want to go anywhere or do anything. Had zero energy. I slept a ton. I hibernated basically. And so my vacation really didn't feel like a vacation. Um, So that's why it's taken a little bit longer to get our ninth season started this year. The plan originally was to kick it off last week. And so I'm kicking it off a week late. And 2024 already looks to be another crazy year. So having gotten, like I said, some, you know, having hibernated like a bear and and gotten some decent rest. I got back to work um, a couple of weeks ago. The, the pressure and the um, 
The insanity is still there, just with 10 to 20 fewer hours a week, fortunately. The project that was eating my life at the end of last year is slated to go live in March. It's probably looking like it'll more it'll probably be more like April. Um, club volleyball, like I said, it, that season is now in full swing. We've as I record this, I am in the midst of a two day tournament, um, or not as I record this. As I record this, I'm getting ready to head out to a two day tournament. As you're listening to this. I'm in the midst of a two-day tournament. It is our third of the season and the second of 2024. And there's two a month from here through May. Um, my daughter was recruited last year for a national level team, and that means more practice, more tournaments, and a national qualifier trip to Washington, D.C. in March, which is going to be insane. And so life is kind of going nuts for the first more four months of this year. So to that end, I don't know what to tell you about, about what the podcast will be like in 2024. In previous years, I've sat here and listed out all the things that I wanted to do. I can't do that in 2024. The only thing I can guarantee is that there will be a show. We'll Definitely be continuing to have our monthly online hangouts as one of those shows. But beyond that, I'm not sure I could promise you anything. I don't want to promise you something that I can't deliver on. Um, I can't promise that the show will be on time. I can't promise that we won't skip a week here and there. I can't promise what each show each week will be. It's going to be sort of a surprise. How about that? I can say that I'll do my best to make it happen and that we will continue to have our online hangouts, which are always a lot of fun. I can, uh, will continue to, to do those for sure. But beyond that, you get potluck every week. It's going to be a surprise. I'm not even going to say in each episode, hey, next week we're going to do this, because I'm not going to know. And you won't know either, so it'll be, a, it'll be a surprise for all of us. How about that? I can sit here and tell you some of the ideas that I've kicked around you know, over the past few weeks, but there's really no point because for the first few months of this, of this year, the schedule will be kind of flying by the seat of my pants. Um, in terms of other content, I alluded to some of this earlier. I have written a couple of uh, fantasy fiction novels one of which, as I mentioned, is already out. That one's called The Fifth Command. The other one, uh, tentatively titled A Terror to Good Works, is coming soon. Those books are they're written for adults. They're aimed at younger readers, but they're adults can enjoy them too. I'm not saying that they're... What I'm saying is, by saying that they're aimed at, at younger readers, I'm not saying that they're like kids' books. But... There's no sex and there's no, the violence is not gratuitous, you know, what violence there is is not gr gratuitous. There's no, um, there's, there's no curse words or any of this stuff. The language is very clean. It's, but there's also, these are mainly written as a way to tell a fun, both a fun story and to teach some biblical truths at the same time. So, for example, as the title suggests, The Fifth Command focused mainly on the fifth commandment and our obligation to love and protect our neighbors from harm. But there's also great lessons on first article gifts, honoring parents, the role of government, and things like friendship and self-sacrifice. Um, the new book, uh, A Terror to Good Works, I'll leave it to your imagination as to what that means. My wife is is reading through the book right now, says so she enjoys it. The Pastor Bennett said he enjoyed uh, the new book as well. And yes, as a powerful and influential member of the media, he got a sneak peek of the new book. Um, and and these books, the first book, and I'm planning also for the second book, uh, to have reading guides for small groups or for parents that include readings from the Bible and Lutheran confessions so that you can discuss the books with your, with your young readers um, or your reading groups at church, whatever you would prefer to do. But again, aimed at young at younger readers, say in their teen younger teens, um, but 
enjoyable for for readers, uh, for adult readers as well. Uh, I think one of the plans that I did have that I will mention was I was thinking about going through the first book and and recording, uh, reading through it with my with my daughter and going through the reading guide with her and recording those sessions so that you could read along and listen with your kids. Thanks to my crazy schedule, that idea never did get off the ground last year, but it is still in the back of my mind. It's still a possibility. So I hope you will um, check out The Fifth Command, uh, check out uh, and look forward to the new book when it comes out in in the coming months. Don't have a release date planned for the moment. I'm thinking, I'm targeting Easter maybe, but we will see um, how editing and all that stuff goes. Um, I'm continuing as time permits, of course, to record music, mostly taking lyrics from hymns in the Lutheran service book, setting them to modern heavy metal. That's been a fun kind of outlet, uh, creative outlet to help me de-stress. And I've got, uh, more songs coming again as time permits. Um, and then, um, for gun club members, there are already changes that you may have noticed. And that first one, um, some of you have already seen when you've gone to renew your memberships. When we first started out with the Reformation Gun Club, um, we were on Patreon. Uh, a lot of places uh, use Patreon. And then Patreon started censoring content. Um, they became... There was some concern uh, because they were cracking down on on extreme right wing content, um, although questionable as to how you define extreme. There was some concern that if we put all of our eggs in in somebody else's basket, that if they take the basket away, what do you do? So we decided to bring all of our content in house and to transition away from Patreon. And then in 2023, we consolidated all the member content on... So there used to be two separate websites. It used to be the Armed Lutheran Radio website and the Reformation Gun Club website. Now they're the same site. Uh, we consolidate all the member content with the Armed Lutheran Radio website uh, last year. And you'll see when you go to the website, certain uh, posts on the website are listed as member content. Um, and to make things simpler, we reduced the membership tiers from, I think, on Patreon, we started out, we had six, and we went down to four last year, just trying to make things easier to manage. Well, we've, we've gone to the extreme in simplification for 2024. As busy as 2024 looks to be, I've simplified the, the membership tiers again, dropping from four to one. And yes, that means less revenue to help keep the show going. But one, as the membership has really not been growing for the past few years, it's been growing slowly. And two, the overhead required to keep up with monthly sub, uh, subscriptions and different benefit tiers, it's more work than I can put in. So I'm, I'm taking less revenue in hopes that if the membership doesn't grow at least the overhead's going to be less. And part of the overhead is in managing monthly memberships. And, and while I do greatly appreciate all of the support from the Reformation Gun Club members, it's been a complicated juggling act since we switched from Patreon, handling all that stuff in the back end. With the annual fees, the account is active when you pay, and it expires in 365 days, and it sends out reminders to renew. Easy peasy. But with all, we used to have tiers where you paid monthly. And the problem with that is there's no way to communicate between the payment provider and the website to make sure that your, your membership is active or not. And I have to manually log in and jog back and forth to check and see if everybody's up to date. And if, if a card payment got declined, if your balance is too high or your number expired, whatever, and a payment didn't go through, there's no way for my website to know that. So all of that is a manual process, and it's more time than I've got to handle. So now when you renew, you're going to see one option, and it's the base fee. It's the what we used to call the, um, um, the gospel gunslinger level. It's $36. 
and you get all of the content. You get invitations to all of the hangouts, and every member gets a swag pack. There used to be a, a lower tier membership called Friend of the of the Show for fifteen dollars and seventeen cents a year. You didn't get any swag; you just got access to the content. Now everybody gets swag. Um, and if you want, you can opt to support the show further by requesting a T-shirt or ma by making an additional contribution. That's completely up to you. At the very end, the base fee is thirty-six bucks. Um, and if you're currently on one of those recurring monthly services, this is another of the problems that's all handled through square. And I'm having a hard time trying to manage all of that where it sends, where you pay a, you pay the annual fee through the website and then square continues to, to bill you a recurring monthly fee. If you're on one of those, um, your membership will expire at the end of January, uh, and you'll receive a renewal notice so that you can sign up with one of the, um, sign up with the, one of the, the only uh, annual membership plan. So if you get a notification that you have an invoice from Armed Lutheran Radio that was canceled, don't worry. I'm just, this is all part of the process of me simplifying things. All of the monthly invoicing and tracking payments through multiple providers just know that I'm trying to simplify things. I'm a one man operation. And so it's, it got too confusing with all the other stuff going on in my life. It really isn't confusing, I guess, because if I had, you know, staff to manage it, which I don't, but it's just too easy for me to overlook things. And I just would rather it be very simple, have it all go through the website, single payment once a year, much easier to track, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, so if you are so inclined, I would be most grateful if you are, click on the, the uh, new membership tier, add it in your desired add-ons if you want to your shopping cart, select uh, the checkout, or click the checkout button, single fee, th it boils down to $3 a month. And for those of you who are on the higher tier plans, uh, the previous, we had some, some higher tiers, um, I greatly appreciate your support. And yes, this is going to mean a significant savings for you and a significant decline in revenue for the show, but I'm, I want everything to be simple. <laughs> for those of you who are on the, who were on the friend of the show plan, which like I said, was $15 and 17 cents a year, the rate goes up, but you get swag in exchange. Everybody gets swag. You get some swag, and you get some swag, and everybody gets some swag, to quote Oprah Winfrey. For Patreon members who never canceled your, your Patreon subscriptions, and there's a handful of you out there, thank you so much for continuing to do that. Um, those subscriptions are ending as well, so please consider renewing with the annual plan uh, instead, because I am closing down the Patreon site. I don't want to have to manage it anymore. It's just too much. So if you choose to sign up or renew or not renew, whatever you decide to do, please know that your support for the show over the years has been greatly appreciated. Um, I really do appreciate all of our members um, who have supported the show with, um, with your, your listens and your likes and your, and your money and your appearances on our online hangouts, which I'm looking forward to getting back to. Uh, soon we may have to skip January. I'll see. Um, what is today? Yeah, I don't think it's January 26th. January is not happening. So we may have to do two in February if I can squeeze them in, or we may just skip January altogether. Not that that's ever happened before. Um, so, um, just know that we'll continue to hang out. Um, I will announce hangouts, um, at least a week in advance and send out invitations, um, by email to our member list. Um, so look forward to that. Look forward to whatever is to come here for our ninth season. I'm looking forward to doing another year and being here with you. And, um, it's just, uh, it's been a great blessing and, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what our ninth season sounds like and i hope you will join me for it thank you all so much for your continued support thank you for continuing to listen 
to share the show, to like it, to tell your friends about it. Um, And I hope to be talking to you again next week. Until then, keep shooting, keep praying. We'll talk to you next time. For show notes, be sure to visit our website at www.armedlutheran.us. Check out the Facebook page, The Armed Lutheran, or join our Facebook group, Fans of Armed Lutheran Radio. If you like what you hear, please leave us a comment on our feedback page at armedlutheran.us slash feedback, or a review on iTunes, and let us know what you think. Thank you for listening to Armed Lutheran Radio, a member of the Self-Defense Radio Network.